So this is the view from the front. This is postcard housing. The bus stop for kids is right there. And in the center of the neighborhood, right behind this unit, is a big playground. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so going in, the little front room, space on the side. Hi, Jackson. This is the mud room. A lot of people put curtains here to kind of block it off. I know some people use this just as storage. Um, it's a pretty decent sized room. Some people have used it as their offices. We personally use it as our craft room. Trying to get a good enough angle here. And this is the front room. One thing to note about this room is this is the only room in the house that has the really old school electric heaters that you have to make sure you don't have furniture up against it or anything hanging over it. Um, the rest of the house has the gas ones that it doesn't matter, so you don't have to think about it. I'm 90% sure that's how it is in all of the houses here. All right, moving into the main part of the house. All right, we've got kitchen, living room, closet, closet, bathroom, and another closet. I don't know if you can really see the layout here. All right, this is the coat closet. Um, ours has three tiers of shelving, which is pretty cool. And all of the closets have lights. I'll show you the other closet right here. Most people use this as a pantry. All right, I'm gonna go back and show you the downstairs bathroom. A small little bathroom. I like it. That mirror is a medicine cabinet too. We didn't realize that till we've been here like six months. Alright, this is back to the start of the house. Okay, this room is a little like under the stairs. Ours is storage. It actually loops around a little bit under the stairs so you can fit things back there. I've seen some people use this as um, like toy rooms for their kids. You can do different things in there. All right, and then living room. Big open floor plan. Big windows and glass doors, which is good to get the sun we do get here into the house. Dining room. Um, more living room just to get another view of it. View from this side. Going into the kitchen. No garbage disposal. Took me forever to remember about that. Um, big open corner here. Which a lot of people use to put more counter space, breakfast nooks, stuff like that. All right, going upstairs here. We've got the three bedrooms upstairs. One master right there, and the other one. Um, laundry room, closet, bathroom, closet. Um, I'll go into this one first here. Bedroom number one. Two big closets with lights. I feel like the bunk bed makes it look smaller than it is. This is actually the bigger of the two 
bedrooms. Uh, looks better with the doors closed, that's for sure. All right, now we're going into the master bedroom right here. Turn the light on. This is a, um, that's a queen size bed for reference there. Really walk in, get you some more angles. Closets are basic closets, except this one over here. Kind of has a weird thing there, and then this one's like a shelf. I do love the view of the trees back there, especially when it's snowing. And so many kids play out in the woods and you'll find like old swings from different families and there's lots of adventures kids have out there in the woods. All right, now going on to bedroom number three at the end of the hallway here. So hard to get a good angle of everything, so I apologize if you're not getting a good idea of the room here. Just one closet in this one. This is the only bedroom with one closet. Bedroom number three. Right, going back to the start of the stairs. Alright, so over here we've got a linen closet. Oh, we use it as a linen closet anyway. upstairs bathroom. The good thing about this bathroom is there is a lot of storage. Uh, let me show you here. Hi! All of these open. So that's pretty cool. You got all that. You got all the drawers down there. The bad thing about this bathroom is this part is super small. Um, you know, you get used to it. Like, you can see how close the door is to the toilet, and you can't even open the door the whole way because of the heater. So, yeah, that's pretty small. But like I said, you get you get used to it. It doesn't even bother me anymore. Um, I do hear my neighbor's water going on and off, but it's really the main sounds you hear. You don't hear too many sounds from your neighbors here. Back in the main hallway, we've got another closet in the laundry room. And the laundry room, which is kind of misty right now, but you can see. It's not a bad size. Um, I know the two bedrooms have pretty big laundry rooms, and some people have done really, really nice things with them. These are the machines we got. We got these new with the unit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you will, but that's what we got. And then this is our back patio which is a mess right now. We need to take out recycling, so I'm not doing a close-up of it. Our neighbors. A lot of people are facing the woods. Some people face the playground, which if you have kids, I think is also pretty awesome. 
Uh, you see right there, we each get, each unit gets um, half of that shed, or half of a shed. And this is the view from the outside. I know it really doesn't look like much from the outside, but I think it's much nicer inside and it didn't take long to feel like home. Better view of the bus stop there. Lots of coverage for the snowy and rainy days. And yeah, that's um, Sitka Housing. If you have any questions or want me to get better pictures or videos of anything, just let me know. I hope you like it here.